Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I will show you how to calculate your UK national insurance in Excel. Paying national insurance is based on a progressive system, meaning that if you earn a higher income then you must pay a higher rate. I have provided the 2020 to 2021 national insurance bands over here. As you can see, if your taxable income is £9,500 or lower, then you will pay 0% on this income. If, however, you earn £36,000, which is between £9,501 and £50,000, then you pay 0% on the first £9,500. However, you pay 12% on the remaining £26,500. Now, the same principle applies to the higher band as well. What we want to do in this video is create a calculator which allows you to see how changes in your taxable income impact your annual and monthly national insurance payments. So that if we change this figure over here to say 60,000, these figures change accordingly. To do this, we first need to format this table over here into a format that Excel can understand, which only contains numerical values in the cells and not characters. So firstly, we have the taxable incomes, which are provided in the table above, and these are 0, 9,500, and 50,000. We then have the national insurance rates, which are also provided, and these are 0, 12%, and 2%. However, we also want to add a column for the insurance payable, as this will be important when calculating this figure over here, the amount payable in the previous band. The insurance payable when our taxable income is £0 is of course going to be £0. When the taxable income is £9,500, our insurance payable will also be £0 because the rate of 12% only applies when the taxable income is between £9,501 and £50,000, not when it's £9,500. When the taxable income is £50,000, it's going to be slightly trickier. Firstly, we will have to pay the insurance payable in the previous band, which is £0. We will then add this to the excess amount, which is subject to a 12% raise. Here we take the £50,000, subtract 9500 and subtract 1 because of what I mentioned earlier. We then multiply this by 12%. Now that we have created a table which Excel can understand, we can move on to step 2, which is calculating the intermediary calculations. Firstly, let us assume that our taxable income is £36,000. As mentioned at the start, the national insurance payment is the amount payable in the previous bands, plus the rate of the current band, multiplied by the amount payable in the current band. Therefore, let us go through each one. To find the amount payable in the previous band, we will use the VLOOKUP function to identify which figure in the table corresponds to a taxable income of £36,000. So we click equals VLOOKUP, we're looking up the taxable income of £36,000 within the table we just made, and we're looking to retrieve the value in the second column which corresponds to the insurance payable, and next we're going to click TRUE because it is an approximate match. This is because the value 36000 is not exactly provided in the taxable income column, so we want Excel to find the next best value that is below 36000 To calculate the rate of the current insurance band, we will once again use VLOOKUP. The only difference now is that instead of looking to retrieve the value in the second column, we're going to look to retrieve the value in the third column, as this is the one that applies to the national insurance rate. Here we are provided with a rate of 12%, as this is the rate that applies when our income is between 9501 and 50000 Now, to find the amounts payable in the current bands, we're going to calculate how much of our income is in excess of 9500 which is in the lower band. We can calculate this as follows. So we take the 36000 and then we want to subtract 9500 which can be found by using VLOOKUP. So we're looking up the 36,000 within the table provided and we're looking to retrieve the value in the first column in order to get this 9,500. So as you can see we're provided with a value of 26,500 which is indeed 36,000 minus 9,500. Now that we have all the intermediary calculations we can calculate the outputs. The annual national insurance payment is the amount payable in the previous band plus the rate of the current band multiplied by the amount payable in the current band, which gives us 3,180. Now to find the monthly national insurance payment, we can simply take this figure and divide it by 12. 
Now, to check whether these calculations are correct, we can change the taxable income to say £60,000 and go through each intermediary calculation. The amount payable in the previous band is 4,859.88, which matches the value provided in the table. The rate of the current band is 2%, which is correct since our income is over £50,000. Finally, the amount payable in the current band is £10,000, which is indeed 60,000 minus 50,000. So that's how you can calculate your UK national insurance in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.